Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In last couple of tutorials, we programmed different app and we were able to control LED lights in different ways. So it was all uh, that we, sh we have seen that uh, we were able to control LED lights and those were prototypes. So those were not real gadgets, but just the prototypes. So I decided to test my codes on real apps and <coughs> these are the uh, boards and chips that uh, we use to prototype the app and uh, the app uh, we can test it test on uh, these chips but those are not the real and again we have to implement it in the real app. So to implement it in the real app I bought a switch that you must have heard the name of it is Sonoff switch this is also called the $5 Sonoff switch it is very uh, low priced uh, switch and it's a Wi-Fi chip uh, sorry a Wi-Fi switch and this is the uh, chip that is there in this Sonoff switch and this is uh, called ESP8266 chip. So this is inside this box and this is how it works. So uh, this is basically a mini Wi-Fi station and uh, you can just give uh, different commands to it and it will perform and uh, it comes with uh, its own software and uh, that is a cloud based software. So the advantage of cloud based software is that you can control this switch from any part of this world. So that is basically the advantage of a cloud based, soft, cloud -based software. But uh, there are also disadvantages. Uh, for example, the, uh, the first in the first world countries, the internet connectivity is really strong and everywhere there is internet connection. So you can get internet connection very easily. Every household has an internet connection. But in the third world countries, uh, there is uh, uh, everyone doesn't have internet connection. First thing, second thing that uh, is there is that uh, the internet connectivity is not that strong. So uh, when I started using this switch, there were there were many issues. For example, when I lost the internet connection, then no matter how uh, hard I tried but uh, the switch didn't work. So when I wanted to switch it, switch it off, it was not working. So I thought that there is some issue, uh, then I googled uh, and I found out that uh, there is, there must be some internet issues. And uh, so I thought that uh, uh, with in this way, I won't be able to use this Wi-Fi switch. So I just uh, thought of reprogramming it so that it doesn't use the internet connection and it just uh, it, it doesn't even use the uh, the Wi-Fi but uh, I can directly control it with my uh, smartphone and I'm able to use it so I used reprogrammed it for that purpose and I think that I was able to achieve what I wanted so I will show you a demo of how it works so here is my app that I have created to control this switch and as I told you this switch has this ESP8266 chip inside it. So let's see how this app works. So uh, here is a switch which controls the activation deactivation of Wi-Fi. So I just deactivated the connectivity from the Wi-Fi. So there is no connectivity of Wi-Fi. And now I will turn on Wi-Fi on my mobile using this switch. So everything is working in this app itself. And I can scan for all the Wi-Fi uh, devices that are available. So here you can see that I have three devices available. One is my uh, router. Second one is also my router. And this third one is the switch Wi-Fi. This switch Wi-Fi that is named my switch 684. So I can uh, establish connection with any of them. So I need to establish connection with my switch. 
so let's do it okay so i can see that uh, here the uh, the name of the network is my switch 6846 so the <coughs> device is connected with this switch suppose i want to connect it with my router then i will tap this and after few seconds see here the name of the uh, the device changed so now it's connected to my router let's uh, connect it back to my switch okay so i am connected back to my switch and the status of the switch is that it is turned off right now so let's turn it on so you can see that using this app i turned my switch on again let's turn it off Okay, so I think there was some issue because of which it was not turning off. Okay, turned on. It turned off. It turned on. Turned off. So it is working quite well and also there is a, a delay time I have set in between the the on and off so that uh, like people don't tap it multiple times and like uh, cause uh, some damage to the switch. So uh, if you like quickly do it, it won't work. Okay, but if you take a little time, it will definitely work. So here is the status of the switch uh, that is being displayed. So when I turn it on, the status changes to on and when I turn it off, it changes to off. Here is the uh, current uh, connectivity. Suppose you have multiple switch uh, uh, connected in your home. So you can connect to different switches and you can operate it. So the, uh, the switch that is currently being uh, connected to the app will be displayed here, the name of the switch. So uh, that is how this uh, Wi-Fi switch works. Basically, I use it to uh, connect it to my router because uh, many a times I just uh, come and sit near my uh, computer and then I realize that I haven't turned on the router. So I just connect it to the router and uh, control it with my app itself. So that makes uh, life quite easier. And uh, second thing is uh, the one more advantage that you are getting when it's not being controlled by cloud or router is that you can control your router with this switch as well because if it's operates with the help of uh, the router then you won't be able to turn it on you can turn it off but again after you turn it off you will lose the control so you won't be able to turn it on but now because it is not uh, working with the router it's directly working with the mobile so uh, you can easily uh, operate the router as well so i needed the it basically for the router because the router is uh, placed at a corner at my house so this is very helpful to uh, control the router from a distance from anywhere in in my, in my house and uh, so i ho hope you guys have uh, liked this uh, tutorial uh, this is a very useful uh, device uh, that i have programmed and i have created app for and uh, in last all tutorials we just lit the LED using these boards and this is uh, the first app that I have created for a real switch. So see there is if I quickly turn it off it doesn't work but if I take a little time and turn it off because the delay need to be like changed I have uh, set the delay. Uh, I think it was set to 3 seconds or something like this. So uh, before 3 seconds if I like 
try to toggle it like it won't work so i have to give it a time of 3 second to 5 second uh, so that i can toggle it so thank you guys for uh, watching this tutorial if you uh, like this tutorial please give it a thumbs up and i will try to uh, if uh, there are many likes i will definitely try to uh, post the how i programmed it and how i like uh, did all these things it is a very lengthy process so it will take many parts of tutorial to do it but i will definitely try to do it uh, if there are many likes for this uh, video and uh, if you uh, like if even if there are not many likes and if some of the people are interested please uh, give me a message or just uh, leave a comment and i will get connected with you and i will uh, one to one i will show you how like i did this so anyway you want just let me know and thank you guys so much for watching have a nice day